looking at wide body paint about probably ten thousand dollars is my guess to do wide body fitted molded in possibilities are endless i could go bigger turbo the other option which i have been considering lately is selling the car swapped out the short lug nuts for longer lug nuts because I did not like the way that the extended wheel studs were sticking out past the lug nuts. They stuck out a little further from the front to the rear because the rear has a different spacer on the wheel to accommodate for the wide track front control arms. So these ones are on. I like them. We're going to run it. Uh, they don't stick out as much as they did on the white car. so. Let me give it a shot. These seats sit so low. I probably have like a foot and a half, not quite, you know, seven, eight inches until my head hits the ceiling. Good for helmet room, but I gotta do something about the seat belts because it doesn't have one right now. I really like the STI seats in the car, but I have these Corbo seats that are just kind of sitting around. They do sit a lot lower, much more side bolstering but I don't really like the way I have to run harnesses and a harness bar without a cage, without the right safety equipment for the street. But we're gonna see if I can figure out a way around that. I'm not sure yet. The OEM seat belt buckle doesn't really bolt in towards the center console. It kinda hits the center console and it doesn't have a right angle to it. But for now, I think we're just gonna put in the black Corbo seats and put the STI seats for safekeeping. <laughs> Black Impreza is almost complete. The build is just about finished. We just have a couple of small things to tidy up before it is done. Air oil separator lines have been rerouted to just come this way. I'm not sure if you remember, but I had lines going all the way down here, down and up and around. It's because of these fittings here at this intake pipe. The um, couple 90 degrees, but it's really hard to get the angle to go into them properly. So I think this looks a little bit better. I was able to finagle them a little bit. But do you even need these anymore? I mean, this thing is destroyed. I think it got soaked full of water is what happened with no hood vent covers there, there, or over there. But do they really work? I mean, insulation, heat, I think it's, what I heard is these plastic tabs melt off if there's a fire and then the pad will suffocate the fire if that's even a thing anymore i don't know but it just looks awful <laughs>
floor mats are cleaned up and put in the car to protect the brand new OEM carpet that was installed in the car not too long ago. So carpet's fresh, the floor mats are reproduction, but at least they're gonna protect that brand new carpet. are in I'm not sure how I feel about the white and the red it, they really contrast especially on a black car I kind of like the amber ones just because they made the whole tail end of the car kind of blend together the red and the white yeah it's JDM everybody wants them they're hard to find they're probably gonna be discontinued soon they're not cheap but I bought them brand new from Subaru I figured why not I think it'll appeal to more people as well because well you got that JDM fanboy factor so let's pull it outside and give you a better look. one of the black Impreza is complete. Phase two is a place I'm not sure I want to venture to at this point. I have been hoarding these wheels, very similar to these wheels, not to be confused with TE37s, they are Enki RC T4s. These ones are 18 by nine and a half plus 30, five on 112. So, they would pair perfectly with this car. I'd have to change the hubs or convert it from five on 100 because that's what it is now. I don't like the fender flares. I'm over it. I just, I just don't like that look anymore. Wide body. I almost bought one, I didn't buy it. Now I have wheels that would go on it with a wide body. They won't fit unless I convert the hubs I like the big brakes on it. I don't know if I want to get rid of those. Looking at wide body paint, about probably $10,000 is my guess to do wide body fitted, molded in. And then do you go black or do you have to go blue and do the whole Subaru thing? I mean, the possibilities are endless. I could go bigger turbo. I could go back to top mount intercooler. There's just so much, so many options. It's just a a never ending abyss, really. So the other option, which I have been considering lately, is selling the car. Now, that's this car is what the channel was based on. It's the first car I ever had on the channel. I've done a lot, I've done a lot to this car. It's just sitting. I have the white car that I want to do more stuff to. That's the more style I want to go with. The clean, subtle. It's white. That's what I wanted. It's not flared. It's not chopped up. That's what I also wanted. 
The dash in this one is wrong. I don't like the GD dash as much. I do have, as I mentioned before, a full GC dash swap in it. And after talking to Brian Eyewire, it's a big job because this car has a full WRX uh, harness in it. So I'd probably have to, the easiest way to be find a 2.5 RS full harness, send it to him, have him convert it back, put the dash in, heater core, all that is so much work. And I mean, this thing operates and runs basically perfectly at this point. So I'm going to sell it now is the time. So I did actually put a soft post on Facebook and a few different groups to see gauge interest really. And you know, if you've ever done that, you get trolls, tons and tons of trolls. Everybody tells you what it's worth, how much their car is worth, how much better theirs is, how crappy yours is. So not going to go that route again. It's probably going to go on either cars and bids or bring a trailer. We're going to just let the market decide what it's worth. I know the market has changed a little bit over the past six months to a year. I will put a link in the description down below. We will see what the fate of the black and is soon, very soon.